two at once. Buy me a drink first, am I right? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> oh. At least I don't have to worry about stamina. <clears throat> Oh, come on. Get up, get up. Nope, too late. Shit. Oh, I have to be at a distance. And also, I get no iframes from doing that? Come on. <clears throat> Can I? Oh, I can stone you. I don't have enough magic now. Come on. Ah, fucking fuck. Oh. Well, God bless it. Yeah, frame rate. Get in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. I'm amazed when Vampire Survivors does not have frame rate issues. <laughs> yeah, I have not pushed up to that. At least, but I do love that game, though. You, you, you're... It's quite, quite good. Quite, quite good. Oh, he's just going to do that. <sighs> I did it. <clears throat> I always believed you could, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> what are you crying about, dog? <laughs> oh, much too soon for that. <laughs> I thought you, Mara was making my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, Carl, <laughs> what are you doing? <clears throat> you know what? In the privacy of my own home, we call each other however we like. <laughs> Kratos destroys ancient artifacts. Regarded as hero. Seems pretty cool to me. Organ eye. Delicious. Increase my health. Choose your own box. I choose blue. That's maybe the first thing in this game that I've seen that sets it apart from any other. Is that there are boxes where it rotates between blue and green. And the timing in which you open it changes if you get health or magic out of it. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, it was not something I'm... I think I've seen before. Okay.
Okay. Yes, Mabel? Oh, does she have words? Put her on. Let me talk to her. Come on. Get up on the bed. <laughs> Mabel, come on. She'll only do this right now because can she might as well give her a repeat if she does. Go on. <laughs> Yeah, Libby's gone, so Mabel gets all sad. Yeah. She'll like go and just sit in the living room, take it, and uh, look for her. Oh, sure. Um, and shoot, I did not mean to start. When one of us is gone, there's definitely a lot more pouting. Yeah, for, for sure. <laughs> and it is pouting. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, this is a nothing room, I guess. Unless I'm supposed to be able to, like, throw my blade into that wood and swing from it. It's not look like that would work. Okay, it's very reflective. I can see the ceiling. is the game trying to tell me it tells me to jump across you fo you fool I know who you are okay I know what you've done monster wait stay back get away from me I will not let any woman tell me I'm a monster. Time to kill her. Stay away. Don't come near me. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. This is why I'm a hero. <laughs> All Might would be so proud. <laughs> What? I'm not going to feed you. What have we here? The hatch is locked. Nice. Okay. Mmm. Real melty outside. Yum. So wet. Okay. <laughs> Can you hear the game? No. Uh, okay. This man is just screaming and running straight into a door. <laughs> I get it, buddy. It, he's a mood. Not to, not to confuse you too much, but I am not part of Gen Z. <laughs> Where'd Carl go? Yeah, I know, right? This guy, this guy who's getting told by middle schoolers yeah. he's got a nice fit. You know, Hell yeah. Them, but they're also kind of teaching you. Yeah, we like to turn our chairs around backwards. <laughs> I like to keep it real in the classroom. What did I do? What did I? Oh, hello. Who knew? Destroy magic shields with the plume of Prometheus. Square, square, triangle. Square, square, triangle. Sure.
<sighs> square, square, triangle. Nope. Square, square, triangle. Nope. Square, square, triangle. You motherfucker. You guys got any plans tonight? Um, nah, we've just been mostly binging Atlanta. Nice. It's, it's really good. We're in the fourth season and um, like mid third season is when Colin will t um, pretty well described um, that when they're not doing like plot episodes they are uh, doing like racial black mirror episodes interesting which like the main the main characters don't show up in at all it's just like a weird um slice of life with like a what if feeling to it without them huh. necessarily saying straight up what it is there was one um you remember the guy who played uh riley in national treasure yeah he was in one where like a huge new phenomenon's happening where um people are able to look up um, in their genetic background if you had an ancestor who was a slave owner and had to pay reparations. Interesting. And a lot of it does seem to take a turn like clearly this is fantasy but also this is the interpretation of like a right wing or libertarian type of person. <laughs> Yeah, because it, it's Twilight Zone. It's it's very Twilight Zoney too. That's cool though. I'm, I'm definitely interested in that. Yeah, like, those kind of stories. Mm hmm. The first time they did one, it ended up being uh, one of the main characters like having a weird dream. But then after that, they're just like, nah, these are just fun to do, and they're really and they're interesting. So they, now they still do them like every two or three episodes. So, not infrequent. One was a kid who was, um... He was, uh, like maybe a quarter black. And so he mostly had white friends, um, that were all going to college and he couldn't afford it. And his dad, who happens to be black, said he wasn't going to fill out the FAFSA. FAFSA. He's like, no, if you want to go to college, you save up for yourself. I'm not giving you anything. I'm not helping you. Um, Classic boomers. And then, like, then a guy comes, this, uh, this alum from their high school comes to speak to a, a school assembly. And he basically says, I am paying all the seniors college tuition this year. Everyone goes wild. And he's like, oh, I get to go to college now. And then he adds the caveat, if you're black. <laughs> and they have like this council of old heads who uh like basically ask these kids a series of questions to figure out if they're black <laughs> by their own subjective means <laughs> it was a dark episode that actually managed to be really funny at the end I loved it Yeah, I think they, I believe they said the fourth season's the final one, and that came out this year. So I think it's, I think the show is done. Oh, cool. You know, I respect getting in, doing your thing. And Absolutely. In. Especially when it's this good, I kind of prefer that it end on a high note. Yeah, especially given, yeah, how some shows just you know, go on. We're eventually going to circle back and finish Walking Dead, but holy shit, man, that went on way too long. <laughs> then they spun off more shows. Yeah, so it didn't actually have to be done. It's not actually done, but it's kind of done.
stupid move. Ah. Okay, I think I do have to equip. How do I equip it? Titan's Trident. Ooh. Muse keys. Organize. Heels. Come on. What difficulty is this? Normal. I just feel like it gets stun locked so often. I'm dead. Cool. Uh... back am I okay not too far look at that dirty boy mm-hmm it's real nasty I just, I just want to know how to, oh, it, my, nope, oh, it's, okay, it's the D-pad. There we go. <clears throat> Fuck yeah. Oh. Oh shit, oh, this is, <clears throat> So is there an end goal to, uh, your sim game? Not really, I actually uh, just closed it up you know, League of Empires now, but, um, no, there's not, it's just like, grow your city and you unlock more stuff as you go, and, sure. um, I don't know. No is kind of the, the answer, I guess. Sure. No. Why? <laughs> Can I somehow enable... Gotta turn off that V-Sync, bro. 
get rid of that motion blur. No, it's it seems that when Age of Empires started up, it started yeah, it starts with menu narration on. What? <laughs> everything out to you while you're mouthing over it which is great for people who need that but it is uh-huh uh-huh Who did I used to play as? Oops. Ray. Murder. <laughs> <laughs> 